Yo, what's going on guys and I hope you're having a good day. I thought I would give some more advice today because I got an email from this guy and he says my girl wants to sell pictures online. So uh, buckle up, get your little sippy juice because it sounds like we're in for a doozy guys. He says, what's up Jamari? I'm a 26 year old who is about to finish college and might move to Austin too. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. Come be down here with me and all the gays and the homeless people. He says, I gotta say I love your videos, man. Sometimes when you speak, we have the same opinions about the advice you give to your viewers. So because of that, I now ask for your help. Well, hey, man, that's what I'm here for. You know, Dr. Jamari has officially clocked in. He says, I don't want to make this email too long, but I am afraid I might have to. I've been in a relationship with this girl for five years, and although I love her to death, here comes the but, 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 I sometimes feel like this something off in our relationship she's great we are short distance she's from north of mexico and i'm from the south of the u.s oh this man is crossing borders where are you over there in the valley dude where that um referee got tackled is that where you're living you know driving back and forth to get some tail he says we've been seeing each other every weekend only since we've been together wow so five years of only seeing each other on the weekend that's insane dude that means your relationship is really only like a year and a half long to be honest with you brother he said she used to come over and stay here with me but because of corona I'm forced to go see her in Mexico on the weekend because they closed the border and only U.S. citizens can come into the country. Luckily, my parents have a house over there or it would have been more difficult. Oh man, you're taking a big risk, okay? Especially for the last five years. You know, I know traveling between here and Mexico hasn't exactly been easy. And just based on your name that I'm reading here, I'm guessing that you look pretty Mexican, okay? I'm sure you've gotten stopped quite a few times at that airport or uh, that border patrol, I should say. He says she is caring, sweet, faithful, and our sex life is the best I've had in any relationship. While I do feel like I'm in love with her, there's some shit about her that I just can't get on board with. She's been persistent about getting married since the moment we started dating. I told her since the beginning that I wanted to finish my college degree first, and then I'd look at the possibility of getting hitched. You know, I'm not gonna say that she's in it for the citizenship or anything, but you always gotta keep that in mind, dude. You know, you, you got that American citizenship, you're over there in the US, you know, she probably knows if y'all get married that that's gonna grant her citizenship too. So that's just something to kind of, uh you know, look out for. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just saying, be on your lookout, be on your toes. He says the same wish of getting married has stirred up some trouble in the past, but not lately. She is three years older than me and you know how Latinas are about getting married. Oh yeah, I definitely do, man. You know, my Latina right now, you know, has been uh, talking about the old engagement. And uh, I don't know if if Latinas have like a deal with the government that they control the satellites or a deal with Facebook that they control the advertisements. But lately, man, I've just been getting bombarded with uh, like engagement ring advertisements. It's been actually pretty insane. They're like, come spend that $10,000 with us. No, you spend the $10,000 with us. No, he's gonna spend it with us, God damn it! She says her mom, grandmother, aunts, and girlfriends ask her about getting married all the time. Ugh. And her cousins are getting engaged too. Ugh. And I know when I hear the good news about other couples, she's about to say some shit that'll piss me off. Oh yeah, she's gonna throw out one of those. Wow, they've only been dating for two years and she's already engaged? Look at the size of that rock! Don't fall for the mind games, King. You gotta stay strong and finish your education at the very least. He says it seems like she doesn't believe me at all that I wanted to get married too when I finish my studies, which I really do, and that infuriates me. My girl does cosplay. Oh, no wonder you said the sex has been the best you've ever had in your life, you know? On one night, you're banging Jasmine from Aladdin. The next night, you're banging Master Chief. So yeah, she does cosplay, and lately she's been thinking about selling provocative pictures slash opening up and only fans well there you go sir <laughs> the relationship is officially over <laughs> i'm just kidding okay i'm completely kidding he says uh she has sold some pictures in the past and i've been okay with it and that's your first problem uh but lately the pictures are getting more provocative sometimes i think she does not think about it in the long run or have a plan b like for example those pictures could hurt her career or end up appearing in background checks yeah, guys, I've said this time and time again, you know, I understand if you're making, you know, 40,000, you know, 
six figures you're making millions of dollars on only fans i get it you know i get the hustle but if you're out here making um you know two hundred dollars three hundred dollars even a thousand dollars a month i just really don't see that as worth it you know you're taking a big risk for a little reward is what i'm trying to say and i've told you guys there's tons of ways you can come up on you know about a thousand dollars a month in uh way different ways than having to exploit your body and uh put yourself at risk like that because you know like this guy says maybe you're not really thinking about your future career and imagine you show up to a job and they're like yeah yeah we were gonna give you this job but then we found this boom ass and titty pics she says that if it really bothers me that she'll stop because she doesn't want to make me feel bad but she is really into it as far as making an appointment to get plastic surgery oh man this girl is about to be so far gone I can't even explain to you, dude, how far gone this girl's about to be. I am also afraid that if she goes full on with it, she won't make it because you really do need to be lucky to make it. Yeah, you do, okay? And you need to have good uh, marketing abilities. You most likely need to get piped out by another guy. He says, we have been getting close with a couple and they are great people. The girl is also a cosplayer and has some experience in taking pictures. The only thing that scares me a little is that they have an open relationship no 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 you don't even know what this girl is doing during the week over in mexico and now she's hanging out with these people who have an open relationship she's hanging out with will and jada smith nah 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 bro she's gonna be involved in an entanglement very soon he says she hangs out with them all the time her friend is a sugar baby and they engage in orgies with her boyfriend and other couples what Dude, get your girlfriend out of there or get yourself out of this situation. This is insane. I fear that some of the things they may do, my girlfriend deep inside wants to do. Oh, she might be doing it already, dude. Because we sat and talked the other day and she brought up a lot of what ifs. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, dude, but I have a feeling she's already doing these things you're worried about. He says that she brought up threesomes and sugar babies to the table. He says, I personally would never be into something like that. I am more of a monogamy slash romantic type of dude yeah and you're also probably not a cuck you know it's okay to say i'm not a cuck dude i'm assuming these threesomes she wants to have involves another man and i'm assuming the sugar babying she wants to do involves her you know going and sleeping with some old dude for money and uh yeah seeing that you're not a cuck based on this email i see why you wouldn't want to do it you know it's okay to want to put your foot down guys i know that you know we live in this era of free sexual expression and all this bullshit they'll tell you but uh if you're not comfortable with something you should be able to tell your partner that at any time he says she insisted they were just ideas and she didn't really mean anything by it, but that she'll do anything I want to do, you know, giving me the idea that she's not into it. I fear that now that I want to get engaged and start life with her, she might get sad in the future if she did not do the living she wanted to do before getting married. So that's what she wants to do for a living is sell pictures on OnlyFans? Well, good luck, Charlie. She is not as fixated in getting married anymore. Well, yeah, because she's been going and getting banged out of these orgies, dude. But now I'm looking for the engagement ring and planning on proposing. I fear that she might not be ready to move on and marry, or at least someone who isn't into the whole selling pictures slash OnlyFans slash sugar baby slash threesome shit. What should I do, brother? Should I really be selfish and ask her to quit that shit and be rational? Or should I let her spin her savings into the sugaries and fear that the world will chew and spit her well first of all dude i just want to say uh you're not being selfish at all for asking you know your partner to stop doing something that you're uncomfortable with okay she feels comfortable enough to be pressuring you to ask you to get married and to get engaged and do all these other things like a threesome or you know possibly her being a sugar baby but uh you know, you're not comfortable telling her, you know, putting your foot down and saying, I don't like that you want to sell these pictures to these simps online. This is just my opinion. You know, you can do whatever you want, but I think this relationship is spent. I think that, um, you know, your girlfriend is only going to get worse and worse from here, especially if you guys keep hanging out with this outside influence of swingers um, that y'all have befriended here, my friend. Honestly, I don't see what you have to lose. You know, if y'all were to break up, it sounds like the only thing you're missing out on here is some awesome cosplay sets on the weekends. Um, I'm sure you're tired of traveling back and forth from Mexico. To me, it sounds like your girl wants to belong to the streets. So if I was in this situation, I would be prepared to break up. You know, you're about to be, what, 27? 
You're going to move to Austin. Get yourself a little indie chick here. Just get away from that Mexican chica, dude. I don't know. I just don't see this ending well for you. You know, I either see you ending up in a marriage that you regret or I see her just taking this OnlyFans thing to a whole nother level and you end up getting cheated on. But that's just my two cents. You definitely have to be a certain type of guy to be with, you know, an OnlyFans girl, a stripper, whatever it is. You got to be a certain type of dude. And uh, it doesn't sound like you're that type of guy to me. So uh, I hope you figure this out, man. Sorry, I was kind of long winded in my response. But man, this one was uh, was crazy. But I want to thank you for writing in, man. I also want um, anyone in the comments to give this man also some advice. As always, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. I'll be back with the normal video tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.